You want to make a per per Minecraft server in 1.21. What is per per? Well, it's a Minecraft server software that provides amazing performance, tons of customizability. For example, if you've used paper in the past but thought it was too restrictive, you can actually take and change a lot of what per per does, turn it on and off, for example, in the settings, as well as get plugins on your server. Bucket, spigot, paper, and per per plugins all work on a per per Minecraft server. First things first, you want to go to this. It's the second link in the description down below, and this is per per's official download page. On this page, you want to like 1.21 up here at the top you'll get this warning because it's experimental builds which it is so keep that in mind there might be bugs things like that then come under build here and click on this download icon when you do it will start downloading after a few seconds you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser it's 100 percent safe to do that and once it's downloading come to us from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown of xyz slash simple the server you're starting in this video it's not 24 7 it's also using your own computer's hardware and it even exposes your internet to anyone who you give the service ip address to allowing them to ddos you things like that luckily at simple game hosting again first link down below the breakdown xyz slash simple you don't have to worry about any of that your server is up and running anytime that you want up to 24 hours a day seven days a week there's also an easy to manage panel and you don't have to worry about security because it's all on simple game hosting's hardware plus if you don't have a good computer all that doesn't matter either because it is hosted on simple game hosting's own hardware and computers and things like that so stop struggling to host a server and go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash simple and easily play Minecraft with your friends. You can even add mods, plugins, and all that super easily. Nevertheless, once Per Per is downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And what we want to do is first create a new folder on our desktop. So right click, new folder, and title this folder anything that you want. I'm going to name it Per Per Minecraft Server. You can name this again anything that you want, but I'm going to name it Purple Minecraft Server 1.21. And then we want to go and find the Purple file we downloaded. For me, that's going to be in my downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop and then drag that into the Purple Minecraft Server folder you created. Open this folder up. Then in this folder, right click and create a new text document. Open your new text document, and then in this, what you'll want to do is go to the description. There are two different codes, one for two gigabytes and one for four gigabytes. This is how much RAM you want your server to have. I'm going to go ahead and go with four gigabytes, because generally you need at least four gigabytes dedicated to a server these days in Minecraft, and then go ahead and paste that into this new text document. Then go File, Save As, and you can save this as a run dot bat file for the file name make sure it's run dot bat and then save type as all files so file name run dot bat save type as all files and click save now there's one more thing that we need to do before we can start this server and that's this per per file itself you need to rename this i would recommend going to view and making sure file name extensions are on though that way you can see dot jar here and then go ahead and right click and rename it to simply per per now if you do have file name extensions on it will actually go ahead and you'll see per per dot jar if they're not on it'll just be called per per with no dot jar at the end now double click on the run dot bat file and the per per server will try to start it will fail though because you need to agree to the minecraft eula however what if you can't start your server at this point well that's because you need java 21 as a minecraft 1.21 java 21 is required in order to run minecraft servers like per per as you can see we need to agree to the eula but in the description down below you can find a link to here which is how to get java 21 for minecraft mods and servers and per per obviously is a minecraft server so we need java 21 for it this goes over everything you need to know to get java 21 up and running it for a minecraft server then once you've got that you might need to run the jar fix this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to java making them work happily together but first download and install java then run the jar fix now we can go ahead and minimize our browser and if you couldn't, double click that run.bat file and get the eula.txt file here. Open this up and change eula equals false to eula equals true, assuming you agree to the Minecraft eula, which we do, so eula equals true there. Then click file, save, and you are good to go. Now we can go ahead and double click the run.bat file and your per per server will start. We can also go ahead and play Minecraft 1.21 because at this point you can join your server. Your friends can't join right now, but you can. We'll talk about your friends joining here a little later, but as you can see, the server is starting. It is generating or preparing the world for you to be able to you know, join and play in that world. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Minecraft 1.21 and we can join this server. Once Minecraft's open for you to join this server, click on multiplayer, click proceed, and you can add a server here. I'm going to name this local connection because it's a local connection and only you can use it. Then go ahead and they make the server address localhost, all one word exactly like that, and click done. Now we have this local connection and we can double click and we'll see us join in here on the left hand side. Once you've done this, you can run around, make sure you can play, there's not a ton of lag, things like that. If there is a ton of lag, you probably can't host a server because, well, 
it is using your own computer's resources. If you can't play Minecraft while hosting the server, it's probably because you need better hardware to host the server. But at this point, the server is up and running. If you want your friends to join though, you will need to port forward. Specifically, you'll need to port forward the port 25565, but that's all covered in this video. It goes over everything you need to know, whether you're a video format person or a text format person, we have both options for you. We even go over different things and different things port forwarding can be called in order to help you find it. You may also want to add plugins to your server. There's an in-depth guide in the description down below on how to do that. And we also have guides for specific plugins here, how to manage and use specific plugins. Tons of different ones are listed here. And then how to fix broken Minecraft servers. You're not a Minecraft server admin. That means you're going to have tons of different Minecraft server, basically bugs and things that might happen. And this guide here covers a ton of those. It's literally just 21 minutes of me going over different things on Minecraft servers and how you can fix them. So go check that out now that you're a server admin. It can be good to have that knowledge in your toolbox. But there you have it. That's how you can make a per per server in Minecraft 1.21. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy playing on your per per server. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.